Welcome back, everybody, to the second episode of the Fifth Gear Show. Um, I'm here with my co-host, Ryan Clark. Um, I am Coach Kale Kirchner, and uh, we're, we're doing pretty good this week. I feel like uh, we're on a roll with the show, and uh, it's only going to get better from here on out. I think uh, we worked out some bugs. We're still trying to str- we're still struggling a little bit. I forgot to get a cameraman today, so one of our guests is uh, holding the camera today. So it's going to be maybe a little wonky. So don't go away. But um, this week we're looking at the St. Louis Showcase, um, which is in Edwardsville, and I think the main thing we found out today is uh, um, parents, you guys can come watch. They're having spectators there, so come out and see us swim on Saturday. So. That'll be pretty exciting. I guess that'll be our first um, spectator meet. And I mean, we didn't have one last year, so that's gonna be pretty awesome having that back. So um, Clark, what's your uh, impression of the St. Louis Showcase? I know you just did it once so far, but it is long course. And what's your impressions going in this weekend? Um, well, I'm pretty excited. Uh, we just hit maxes this week in the weight room and we've kind of been getting killed at practice. So. Um, not really going in with any expectations, just going to try and swim fast and got the 50 fly, 50 brass, 100 free, and then probably some relays in there. But we'll see how it goes. I'm excited. And we, we, sorry, good. I was going to say, I kind of like long course 50s. Anything over that, not too fun, but I'm a huge Michael Andrew fan, so (laughs) 50s are amazing. Uh, so the other interesting thing we have this weekend too, is we're going to have like kind of different kind of relays. We got, um, we have mixed uh, freestyle relays, and then we have a crescendo relay, which is a little bit different. So each person in the relay will be doing different yardages. So that'll be kind of cool. Um, we have um, quite a few people um, that aren't really used to, I think, long course meets. Because last year when we did William Jewell, the, sh- the short course meters, they had never done that before. So it'll be interesting to see the people that um, – don't really like flip turns usually do better on long course swims so look who it is and uh, (laughs) our uh, other coach Tony Hernandez just walked in (laughs) um so yeah we've got uh we've got some uh guests on today's show we've got our freshman girls this week um they're coming in this year they're pretty exciting swimmers this year so we're we're glad to have them and see if we're doing the camera swap to see if that look that was pretty seamless <laughs> um so <laughs> so uh we have today we've got um ava hello <laughs> we've got cheyenne hi we've got avery hi. and we've got kate that was just on the camera howdy um so my first question for you guys and i'll start with ava on the right um on my right uh what is your first impression of the team so far this year and I guess the culture that we're, we're implementing? And if, have you seen it before, this type of culture, or um, are you kind of used to what we're doing here so far? Um, the culture here is really similar to my club team, so that's kind of what drawn me here. Um, but overall, like the club is, or the team is super nice, and everyone here is just very like supportive and like easy to talk to. So. And I forgot to ask, too, uh, I wanted to ask where y- y'all are from, so oh. give me the city and state as well. Um, I'm from DeForest, Wisconsin. And if you couldn't tell, just by her saying Wisconsin, that's when you knew she was from Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> um, and next to me, uh, we have Kate. And Kate, where are you from? I'm from St. Charles, Missouri. St. Charles is where I live. Um, and what's, what school did you go to out there? I went to St. Dominic. St. Dominic, okay. And I know, so I used to cl- uh, coach uh, club team, uh, the Stingrays in St. Charles, and I'm pretty sure you've probably swam in that Y pool. Do you remember doing that? Yes, I hate it because it's <laughs> short course meters. It's short course meters, and it's extremely hot in there. Um, next person I have next to me is uh, Cheyenne. Cheyenne, where are you from? Swanee, Georgia from Georgia and that's I'm assuming that's got to be around Atlanta right yeah like right outside of Atlanta okay and then uh, Avery I know where Avery's from but I got to ask her anyway I'm from O'Fallon Missouri and Avery swam for me at the Stingrays she was uh, uh, one of my first tryouts when she was I think 13 years old so makes me feel super old but 
um, been coaching her for a while. Let me go back to Kate. Um, Kate, what's your impression of the team so far? Um, and, you know, how are you liking it so far this, these first few weeks? Um, I would say that it definitely blew my expectations out of the water. I wasn't expecting it to be this fun. And we kind of have, like, forced friendships that turned out well. And you always <laughs> have people to hang out with. That's good. I mean, the I think the team uh, camaraderie is really good on this team. Um, you know, we don't we don't keep it very robotic. Like some teams do do that, and I feel like if you got to be relaxed every once in a while, just to, as you kids like to say, this uh, this time is uh, the vibe is good. So <laughs> got to keep the that vibe, vibe good. Vibe. Um, yeah, with a C. <laughs> uh, Cheyenne, same question. Um, it definitely, like, exceeded my expectations. I got, like, really scared coming in here that, like, the team wouldn't be, like, super close. But, like, day one of being here, we had all the girls come visit us in our apartment, and they were very, like, inviting. So it's been awesome, like, having a team that's super close. That's good. And Avery? I feel the same. I feel like the team is very, like, warm and welcoming, and it's, like, we hang out all the time. Like, everybody is just really nice and supportive to everybody. Yeah, that's awesome to hear. We don't, um, Tony and I don't really, you know, get to see what's going on outside the pool. We see way too much here, so um, it's good to know that you guys are getting along on the outside. But um, so, super important question this week is what, what what has been your favorite place to eat here? I know Kate and Avery have have lived here, so they kind of probably have multiple places. But Kate told me hers yesterday, and I was kind of shocked. But um, uh, Ava, what's what's the best place you've eaten at so far uh, since you've been in St. Louis? Am I allowed to say Culver's? I, I, I mean, that's <laughs> fair. Do you have Culver's in Wisconsin? It originated from Wisconsin. Oh, well, <laughs> no, then, no, that doesn't count. <laughs> um, probably Salt and Smoke, then. Okay, yeah, barbecue, St. Louis barbecue is very underrated, so that's a good pick. Now, Kate's, I apologize for the same. I mean, to be fair, it's it's not bad, but... We'll, we'll see what she says here. I feel very strongly about this question. Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> and we get, a, we get a few moans already with Cracker Barrel. Um, my experience with Cracker Barrel is every time we went on a family vacation, uh, we would stop there on our road trips, and I would get, we would get the worst waitresses or waiters, <laughs> and I have just have PTSD every time I go in there. Do we get the Sunrise Sampler? Yeah, what, what do you, yeah, what's your uh, go-to uh, meal there, I guess? I will get anything as long as it has the fried apples. Those, okay, the, to be fair, those are pretty good. Um, Cheyenne? Apparently, I'm not allowed to say Fitz's, so <laughs> <laughs> um, we had Twisted Ranch, and that was pretty oh, good. Okay. I have not been there yet. My uh, best friend that lives in San Antonio loves ranch, and I still haven't taken him there every time he visits, so he's kind of mad about that. But we'll have definitely have to go there. Avery? Um, I'm not sure if there's one around here, but I really like Kataro. Oh, the uh, Japanese yeah. place. Okay. Yeah, the hibachi. So is, do you like sushi then, or is it more just the they're cooking it in front of you? I do like sushi. I've never tried theirs, but I do like the, like the hibachi cooking in front okay, of me. Okay, cool. All right, so I think uh, places we can recommend for the new people are – I, and I know Salt and Smoke was mentioned. I still haven't been there for some reason, but um, Pappy's is very good barbecue. Um, you go downtown, and uh, Joey B's is a good one. Go on the hill. Um, any of the Italian places. You want good Italian food, you're in the right spot. So um, a lot of good places. St. Louis is very underrated as far as food. You also have to try toasted ravioli. I don't know if you've had that before. Toasted ravioli. It is really good. Um also, Kalachi's a Kalachi factory. Um, Clark, a couple years ago, I brought them to a club meet, and he was pocketing them in his <laughs> pants and uh, eating them on the go because they were that good, so he didn't care if there was lint on them or whatever. Um, so the next thing I'm going to ask is, well, they're going to ask us, do you all have either a question for me and or Tony? Um, any specific question can be literally anything. Um, doesn't have to do with swimming, doesn't have to do with school, um, whatever you want it to be. And I kind of gave them 10 minutes to think about it and let's see what they got. 
Mine's not very good, but what's y'all's favorite event to watch? My favorite event to watch is it's going to be a relay. Um, man, I don't know the medley or the two free relay. Um, I would say the two free relay is going to be mine. It's it's pretty exciting and it gets really loud, especially when you got a crowd there. So I would say two free relay. And I'm going to pass the mic over to Avery so she can hold it to Tony here. Yeah, I would definitely say that's up there. Um, whatever relays last, you know, it's usually the two freestyle relay or the 400 freestyle relay, but that's usually when the pool gets the loudest. Uh, the swimmers get the most energy because it's like we're finally here at the end of the meet and they're usually long, especially dual meets. Um, and a lot of times, it, a lot of the meets that we're in, it, it comes down pretty tight. You know, we had a, a relay a couple of years ago with William Jewell where our women's true and freestyle relay went one, two, and uh, we won the meet because of that because uh, that relay. So there's usually most riding on that 200 freestyle relay, but uh, I, I'd probably say either that last relay. But it's a hard answer too because starting off with a good two medley relay or four medley relay, relay at the beginning of a meet, uh, there's nothing like getting that energy flowing to start the meet. So I was gonna say too. The I think uh, one of our junior swimmers, John Osa, kind of he ramped it up as far as me liking that event because um, I think it was Wash U we were talking about the other day. Um, Wash U, we out-touched uh, one of their relays, and he gave them – no one knows who this is except for Tony and maybe Clark. Um, but he did a Dikembe Mutombo finger wag, like right in the kid's face, <laughs> and it got everybody jacked up, and it was pretty awesome to see. But, um, Kate, what, what is your question? If you could only eat mac and cheese – flavoring packets or ramen noodle flavoring packets just the seasoning packets which one would it be so the cheese the cheese powder like is that what you mean yeah you could do oh. cheese powder or shovel the Velveeta sauce into your mouth I, I guess too I'm gonna do the ramen packet to be honest I, I don't know why I would the cheese I feel like it would take forever to eat that yeah I think that cheese is gonna cake on the roof of my mouth quite a bit <laughs> I'm gonna say ramen packet. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'll say ramen packet too. But I, my mouth is hurting thinking about how much water and how dry it's gonna be because that those ramen packets are so salty. And tang, yeah, a lot of tang. <laughs> and I, if I can choose, I'll choose the beef packet. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Well. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe chicken. I, I'm not really sure, but um, my my four year old Beckett would say it's too spicy. That's what he would say when something's <laughs> salty like that. <laughs> Uh, Cheyenne? What is y'all's favorite place you have visited? Uh, like, like anywhere or just like around here? Any, anywhere in the world. Um, man, I, so I go to the Indy 500 every year and going to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is really awesome to see. It's humongous and you got cars going 240 miles an hour around and I go to the race every year and it's it's awesome to see. I think that's my favorite place to go. This is a hard one. Uh, my wife and I, we like to travel a lot. Um, and we went about five years ago to Greece, which is a great trip. Um, and along the lines of sporting environments, it's we, we got to see in Athens, the like original Olympic stadium. We had like a little audio tour and everything. Um, and so one of the things they had you come out what would be like the locker room and you put the audio in and it had like the sound of the crowd and you kind of envisioned it. I, it gave me goosebumps. So I'd probably say that's one of the coolest places I've visited. Okay. And then Avery, what's your question? Um, what would you guys say that is your biggest goal for this season? Oof, dang, that was a hard one. Um, obviously, you know, I think Tony will agree with me too, is keeping everyone healthy this year. And I think this year we're going to have better luck with that, knock on wood. Um, we're not going into this season as Clark just knocked on wood for me. Appreciate it. Um, uh, you know, last year, since a lot of people couldn't do anything in the summer and the off season because stuff was closed uh, the year before that, I mean, not this past year, but. Um, we had a lot of little, like, pretty nagging injuries that probably wouldn't have happened if everyone was um, able to do stuff during the summer. So 
being healthy all year, and I really think that's just being like we said last week, being in the weight room, and you know, our goal is obviously just to improve our positioning at conference and nationally. And I think the guys the other day were talking about getting in top 15, which I think is very attainable. Um, so, um, and I think we're going to do that too. I really think we're going to, we got a lot of momentum going into the season and we got a lot of, like we said last week, a ton of depth. So I think that's only going to help us going this year. Yeah. I mean, Kel nailed it on the head with first and foremost staying healthy. I think that's always the biggest goal. Uh, keeping everyone happy too. I think that's always big. Yeah, last year was was hard just with protocol over everything, but um, keeping he staying healthy, staying happy, and you know we're at the point now where we're demanding a lot of results out of the athletes. So, you know, you know the women's team last year was top twenty or it was twenty six in the nation, I think, on college swimming when we ended out the year, and that was with uh, COVID right before our conference championship meet. So we we've got some goals of being top 25 on the women's side, you know, like Kale said, the men uh, mentioned being top 15, you know, so we, we kind of just focus on improving our placement each year. And I think staying healthier and uh, keeping everyone happy is going to kind of be um, the result, you know, is what's going to give us the result. So I'd say those are two big aspects here. All right. Well, thank you girls for coming today. I know Kate, man, like every day she's like, is this, is this show happening? Is this show happening? So I'm glad uh, all the, I think we had 150 views on the first one. So, so far. let's, yeah, so far. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, yeah, I'll get to that part at the end. But um, so I'm going to have the girls move out. I'm going to bring in um, and we'll have Tony come in here and Clark and just talk about um, uh, the meet coming up this weekend. Um, Tony, I asked Clark before, like, what are you anticipating as far as, you know, it being long course and a little bit different than, uh, you know, obviously short course where you're doing more turns and all that. And I, I think I mentioned before, like, people that aren't the strongest of turns, I think they can thrive in the long course pool. Um, but what are your thoughts on this weekend? Yeah, I mean, first meet of the year, uh, when it's starting off a pretty big meet with great competition. We've got uh, four GLVC schools uh, here in St. Louis that'll kind of be able to show off uh, where we're at, what we've done over the summer. Uh, but biggest thing we look for is just the energy that we have coming into the meet, um, the support that we're building, um, you know, starting with this first meet, you know, getting the characteristics that we're looking for um, out of our performances. And, you know, it's not necessarily uh, about times. Um, I think we can execute our races still really, really well, uh, but it's, a, it's about the energy and the focus that we're bringing in and um, get, building that meat-like environment that, we're, that we can kind of build off of for the rest of the year. Yeah, and I think, um, I think one of the most important things is too, is that we're gonna be pretty amped up for this meet, I think. And, you know, we're, we pretty hard practice practices this week and I think that kind of gets canceled out, being sore and all that stuff when you get amped up and that testosterone and um, you know all that adrenaline starts uh, flowing and it just I feel like that just blocks that out. I mean, do you feel the same way, Clark? Is you know you got your team cheering you on. Now we're gonna have people in the stands cheering you on, and I just feel like getting amped up like that just kind of blocks out that soreness and and you know feeling you know kind of cruddy for the week. For sure. I mean, as soon as you dive in the water, like you feel good when you get in, but I'm sure we're going to start to feel it. I've 100 free that last probably 12, 15 meters is I'm going to feel this week of training, but mm -hmm. that's what it's for. So um, the 50s, I probably won't be as tired during the race, but I'm going to feel everything after every race. But definitely the crowd looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, excited. My parents are coming up for a meet sometime in the future, but not this one. We'll yeah, I, I think parents coming in, I know they're all been asking, you know, you know, all summer if we were going to have uh, spectators and all that. And they just announced it, I want to say, what, just a few weeks ago. Yep. So, um, uh, so yeah, this weekend they are going to have spectators in the, in, the cra in the pool. So that'll be awesome to have. Um, so we're looking forward to that. I think we're going to put up a pretty good result. And uh, like my dad always says to, um, you know, Clark mentioned he's going to be going as fast as he can. Is if everything feels under control, you're not going fast enough. So that's he always used to say that. So um, you just got to empty the tank and uh, go as fast as you can. 
But we're going to finish up um, this video this week with a little football uh, uh, talk because NFL starts tonight, um, Sunday. We've got the most important game, the Browns and the Chiefs. I'm a Browns fan. Um, my dad is from Cleveland, that's why. So we always used to watch him when I'm little. So I'm not bandwagon fan. I had to suffer for whatever, like what since, yeah, years. forever till last year. So, um, but what are your thoughts on that game? I, you know, Tony gets mad because I'm like, the Browns are going to lose. And they're like, oh, don't say that. They'll probably end up beating them. But uh, what are your thoughts on this weekend's game? Um, Andy Reid is great in September, always great after a bye. Uh, I think he's got one of the best records in September um, over the past, like, 10 years of any coach. So I like those chances there. That's what I'm worried about. And <laughs> uh, I, I, think, uh, I think Baker's going to have a pretty good year this year. I'm really just scared about OBJ being on that team and messing up the mojo. But – Hey, I, Jarvis Landry's there, too. He's an LSU guy. <laughs> Clark's an LSU guy. I'm not dissing LSU guys. I love Jarvis Landry. So um, the girls are probably sitting there back here like, what are they talking about right now? <laughs> um, but what are you looking for? Which game are you looking forward to? Or I guess what team? Yeah, you're a Saints, Saints guy. Packers. Saints Packers <laughs> at, at the Saints, right? Is it at home game? Um, or I know they had the I hurricane think, there, so I'm not I really sure. playing it in Jacksonville. But, okay. I mean, I'm going into this season for the Saints, no expectations at all. If we win more than five games, it's a good year for me. So um, I think they're going to win more than that. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It just depends on uh, Jameis, I think. But uh, tonight's first game, and uh, we're going to go – Tony and I are going to go see a golf tournament this weekend. Um, it's his first golf tournament. So it's, it's a bunch of old guys, so he doesn't really know who a lot of them are, but I do so that because I'm old. So, senior PGA? yeah, it's a senior PGA tour. So we'll see. We'll see John Daly. Does anybody know who John Daly is back here? It's a. Uh, no? A lot of old people. Yeah, That's yeah. all you got to know. Ernie, <laughs> Big Easy going to be there? He's going to be there. <laughs> Ernie Els will be there. I think Tony said he knows who that is, but he doesn't know what he looks like. Yeah. So, <laughs> Being exposed. Um, but that is it for this week. Um, I'm not really sure who we're going to have on next week because people's schedules are kind of weird. So we'll figure it out. Um, but thank you for watching. I'm going to do this, the corny YouTube stuff right now. Um, hit the like button. Uh, click the bell. Click, turn on the notifications and subscribe. Uh, subscribe. Golly, that's the big one. Subscribe. <laughs> because we have our own uh, YouTube channel now. But I want to thank the girls again for coming on um, and thank uh, Tony and uh, Clark for coming on too. But uh, y'all have a good week and keep it in fifth gear and keep going fast.